As we look back at the third year of our mandate, it's fair to say that we were busy. We put a price on pollution, moved forward with a plan that will both protect our environment and help Canadians as we move to a clean economy. We negotiated a new NAFTA, preserving and modernizing trade with our North American partners. We introduced new competitiveness measures to attract investment to Canada and ensure that existing businesses are even better positioned to compete on the world stage. And we welcomed the single largest private sector investment in Canada's history, a $40 billion liquid natural gas project led by Shell, a project that will create 10,000 good jobs. But that's not all. Canada also held the G7 presidency in 2018. At our Leaders' Summit in Charlevoix, we secured $3.8 billion in funding to support education for women and girls in crisis and conflict zones. And at the UN General Assembly, we welcomed additional contributions to education, totaling more than $527 million. In partnership with Indigenous communities and investors, we got the rail line back up and running to the people of Churchill, Manitoba. Et cette année, nous avons rempli une grande promesse de 2015 en légalisant et en réglementant de manière stricte le cannabis. Cette réforme tant attendue nous permettra de mieux protéger la santé et la sécurité des Canadiens, de veiller à ce que le cannabis soit hors de la portée des jeunes et de priver les criminels et le crime organisé des profits qui en découlent. Et finalement, Notre gouvernement a lancé la toute première stratégie canadienne de réduction de la pauvreté. Cette stratégie s'appuie sur des investissements importants dans le logement, l'augmentation de la prestation complémentaire du supplément de revenu garanti pour les aînés vivant seuls, l'allocation canadienne pour enfants, l'allocation canadienne pour les travailleurs et des investissements dans l'apprentissage et la garde des jeunes enfants. And just as our government has been busy this year, so too have all of you journalists. Thank you for your tireless work in 2018. As journalists, you're, part, you're a big part of what makes Canada, Canada, a country that cherishes democracy and will forever defend a free press. I hope you all have a great holiday with friends and family, enjoying some well-deserved time off. There's no question that 2019 is going to be a big year for all of us.